Hello and welcome to Robotics with Om sir. In this video, I will show you how to write code in Python for embed to line follower robot. So let's get started. Here you can see the chart where I have to move this embed to on this black track where I am having multiple colors in between two. Now we'll see the actual mechanism of quad RGB color sensor. Here I am having four probes. on this quad rgb color sensor l1 l2 left one left two and r1 r2 right one right two so there are multiple condition if robot is moving on the straight path so here you can see the binary condition is 0 1 1 0 if robot is at this position so the binary condition will become 1 0 0 0 likewise 1 1 0 0 Zero one one zero, zero one one one, zero zero one one, zero 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 and one. So let's get started. Write the code in Python. Open M block five application. Switch to Python compiler and make sure that you are in Devices tab and CyberPy devices added in that tab. Now, im let's import some important modules. Import. event time cyberpy yum build and yum bot 2 so these are compulsory modules that you have to import while writing code for your cyberpy import event time cyberpy mbuild and mbot2 next we will create one event so here my event is is button press so is press is press is event so we will listen for a if a button is press then we will call a function so i will define one function define is button press so if user presses a button then user pressed a button then while true make sure t is capital there in true so while true if so first if condition if m build dot we will use quad rgb color sensor quad rgb sensor we will get the ground data so we will get the ground status so for status write st only that's the official format you have to follow so for all sensors and we are using one quad rgb color sensor is equal to is equal to first value it means the first condition so in this case we will use 1000 so from when we are using 1000 we have to give 8 in decimal format 8 colon now i will explain why we are taking here 8 so on the track we are talking about this condition this condition one so here one, only one probe is facing the track so for for this we have to in binary we have to take one and all other sensor which are outside the track we have to take 0 0 0 for them so if robot is here obviously we have to turn it to the left side right we have to turn it to the left side right like this so that's why we are we will take here now we will turn the robot to the left side so m bot 2 dot turn underscore left and then we will in bracket we'll give the angle so 10 next second if you can copy paste this if if you are practicing please don't do these kind of steps 
if mvil.quadrgb sensor get ground status all here we have to use 12 12 and for left condition only why we are taking 12 so 12 is binary sorry decibel code for this value 1100 so in this case still we have to turn the robot to the left side because still half of the robot part is outside the track and we have to, in this case we have to turn the robot to the left side right again one more condition 111 so if the condition is 1110 then in this condition also we have to turn the robot to the left side but for this 12 and one more condition we will take but for this we will take 14 so 14 is the decimal form for 1110 now obviously all left conditions we have taken now let's take forward condition first and then we will take right conditions so if for forward it means 0 1 1 0 so take 6 for 0 1 1 0 and m bot 2 dot forward in forward direction we will increase the speed to 30 so it should move uh, a little bit faster while moving forward so that's why we are taking 30 and this 6 is the value for binary 0 1 1 0 so forward condition in forward condition two center probes l1 and r1 left one and right one will face the track and left two and r2 is empty so in this case the value of binary digit will become 0 1 1 and 0 so in decibel it is 6 that's why we have taken 6 here next take for right side next if so turn dot right i will take first right condition will be 0 0 0 1 in binary 1 so binary value of 1 is 0 0 0 1 so left means this condition 0 0 1 0 0 0 1 so 1 I will write again turn right at 10 one more condition take let's take here so for 1 1 0 0 3 you have to take you can search over the internet if you don't know binary and decimal conversion or if you don't know binary value for 3 for 1 so that's the best option 3 after 3 i will take 7 for 1 1 1 0 so 7 now all these conditions these three conditions are for if a robot is going to right side but we have to turn it to the left side and this is for forward condition if robot is exactly at the center means sensor uh, r1 and l1 is facing the track then we have to move forward at 30 rpm so only one condition we have taken for forward these three for left and these three if a robot is going left side then we have to obviously turn to the right side and these value for four binary 1100 0, 0 or 0 or 1 so this condition is 0, 0, 0, 1. 0 0 1 1 0 1 1 1 0 1 1 0 1 0 0 0 1 1 0 0 and 1 1 1 0 so like this after that we can write when button b is pressed but i'll keep only this much code in this practical now we will upload this code into mbot 2 and then test oh here i can see i have to give dot here so rgb dot sensor dot get ground stm in status so ground value of status so use dot here i will provide you this code in the link is in description you can copy this code from the description now i will upload it again now here you can see it is working correctly you can increase and adjust its speed 
so it depends on your chart and all conditions you can always modify this code according to your need thank you for watching this video if you are having any query you can let me know in the comment section please do like share and subscribe to our channel see you in the next video